Hey guys, Spring Prey here, and welcome to episode 77 of my Let's Play of Europe Universe Allies 4 as France. And uh, last episode, we colonized a little bit more over here. We've stopped colonizing North America because we're just going to let Netherlands finish that off. That they can do it just fine. Uh, we're going to colonize South America though, and uh, because there's no one else really here to do it, we're going to probably want to go to war with Inca soon. Take them as vassal and Iroquois. We've let them live far too long. If we, uh, if it, all, it was only that we were not distracted all this time, we would probably have just demolished them way earlier. We need to start improving relations with our friend here in Norway because we're going to need to integrate them in a few years, for like 20 years. I'd also like to integrate Sweden if that's possible, but I believe we're just going to probably vassalize them. As soon as Denmark goes up for secession, we're going to need to claim that. Ooh, is Poland claiming? Can we? Oh, they're in Regency right now, but I don't think we have the same dynasty. No, sadly we do not have the same. We've been allied with Poland for years and years and hundreds of years, and we still have not shared a dynasty with them. It kind of sucks. Right now we're at war with the Lithonian Order and the Ottomans, but it kind of cascaded. We got a mission to conquer Leash, uh, which is fine because we have a corp here. Or no, that's Nemer. We have a claim on Leash here, and they always hated us anyways for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I guess kind of kind of because we were doing a lot of war here. But we could probably sell them easily to the uh, to the to Netherlands after we we don't even have to core them. It'll be very very simple. Um, then we got to go ahead and do some some more selling over here. We could sell all of Alm to Bavaria, so we're gonna probably annex all of them and sell them like that. And then Silesia, we can probably sell. Or just core ourselves. That's not too hard. It's the first time I've said that we'd have to core it ourselves, you know, or vassalize them and just make them eat up the uh, rest of the Bohemia here. But we'll see. Bohemia only has five provinces, and it's still ridiculous. They won't, they won't freaking vassalize because they have 43 minus for a base tax, so they'd be minus three away. It sucks. Anyways, we're in a war. For to, so basically, from this war, we're gonna take Leash. That's our main goal from the Ottomans. Maybe we can release some more things from the Ottomans. I don't know. Do the Ottomans have much to release? We have no diplomats. Really? Oh, we must have sent them all out, but whatever. I wonder if they have anybody to release. They're actually in Re Regency Council now. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get that from the Ottomans. We're going to get Elise Leash, maybe something else. Then we're going to take Silesia as a vassal, like I said earlier. Then we're also going to do Sweden. We're going to uh, take provinces from them, sell them to Norway. Hopefully make them small enough to vassalize later on. And then Terminids, I don't know, can we do we want to do anything to the Terminids? Terminids? I mean, I guess they're kind of close to us, but right now, I mean, we'll, we'll probably get the, they'll, they'll get their own war, the Terminids will, probably. Anyways, let's continue here. We got a bunch of troops on the move, as you can see, as well as some troops just standing there, so let's get them moving. We're going to want all the troops we can get. We're trying to re recover these guys from Sardinia as well. So let's get there before the Ottomans pin us in with their massive fleet. We'll just drop them off in Nice and have them start running their way over. What's nice is that they're, we're the Emperor, so uh, there's the only way to get through is by walking through us. And there we go, let's uh, send these troops over. <sighs> Silesia, you do not know what you are doing. And then also Austria is here, gonna rape them. I was saddened, I'm very saddened that we don't have our super awesome Russia I mean, I'm, it's really nice to have them integrated, but it's kind of sad that we don't have them to just, you know, just destroy uh, Sweden. Because that was kind of funny. Every time we go to war with Sweden, they would just get destroyed by uh, by the, uh, the the French or the, the Russians would just destroy Sweden. It was pretty hilarious. We got Norway under under a personal union now, which is actually very nice. Uh, we're gonna, they got they were trying to colonize earlier, but once we integrate them, that'll just go bye bye, and every every colony will be France. Netherlands is also one of our vassals, just so you know. In case you're a newcomer. I want to release Ukraine from Poland. I think next time we're going to go to war with Poland and then we're going to release Ukraine and then vassalize them. Or, you know, take provinces that are Ukraine and then release them ourselves. And then we can, next war, go to Poland and make them uh, release all of Ukraine's little parts. Whatever, let's go to war. Now we got about 50 years to do all this crap in. And then, then also we have a million wars we need to fight in Asia to get back all the cores. So yeah, we've got a lot to do, guys. And it's going to be fun. We're going to have so much stuff done. All right. Now we can actually check to see. What is Ottomans? Can they release some more stuff? Ooh. Ooh, we can make the Ottomans release Ukraine. That would be sweet. Is Ukraine going to be... Oh, no, but they're going to be Sunni, aren't they? That would suck. No, they're Orthodox. That's weird. 
Maybe we could make them... Oh, we could just take this one province from them and then release it as Ukraine. That would be cool. So let's do that. We'll take this one province and leash from the Ottomans. And then uh, in case... Unless we want to do anything else. We'll see in a minute. We can also make them release a few other... Let's sort it by War Score. We can make them release Ethiopia, which is pretty massive. But we can also make them release Iraq, which is not that much War Score, actually. In Bulgaria, uh, Algiers, Crimea... Uh, I don't want to make them release Crimea. That's stupid. Byzantium. That would be funny. Oh, they took this little one area from Byzantium. Najed would be good. Hajez. Do we have a little 8% here? Armenia. Armenia? Oh, they're over there. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, we can make them release um, Tunisia. In Ar Ikea. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see what we want to do later. Uh, we got to get the war score first, you know? All right, we got our guys going. We got a mission that we should probably do. Yeah, this is we're doing the leash mission now. Uh, kind of works out because we got a bunch of stuff that we want from all these people that we're at war with, which is also working out that we have enough diplo power to usually actually do this stuff. What sucks is we kind of need a peace. We need a moment of peace to uh, vassalize both a knot here and um, the other one released uh, Ferrara. But I think for now we should be fine. Don't think they're gonna run away from us anytime soon. And there you go, Silesia. Bye-bye, Silesia's army. And let's just, uh, we'll pincer movement them between Austria. Oh, we have to wait a day or something stupid like that. You can never have too much money. That's that's definitely true. Now, Sweden. I'm The only one I'm worried about is Sweden. Oh, nope. Never mind. Not anymore, because we got all of our troops up here. So let's start moving these guys in. Uh, we got our good general here, so that's good. Uh, we got some free diplos. Or free, sorry. Uh, the other thing. The other guys. And if we always, we can always release this area for Finland. Finland's Finland. And I'm sure Finland will will buy that very quickly. If not, that's a crime against the game that the, 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 the people who made it will have committed because Finland should definitely buy the province named Finland. I'm just curious where the Ottoman's army is. Are they fighting the Mamluks still? No, they're just fighting us. They, they were fighting the Mamluks. I can't believe they didn't finish annexing them. Poor, ma poor Mamluks. There's 30,000 troops. Don't we have Georgia as a vassal too? We need to annex them. F how far do we have to wait? Uh, okay, we need to wait like two more years. I need to pay attention to what... Oh, we could probably release uh, vassal integrate Kazan too. I'm pretty sure Kazan's got all their... Oh, I wish it would show us their cores. I think it only does that in peacetime, which kind of sucks. If you put it on diplomat mode and then click there. Oh no, it works there. Oh good, there we go. Alright, so they got a core here on the Turnids. And they also got another cure core here and there. So that might be nice to get back, but I'm pretty sure we can just... Is there another thing that's here? Yeah, the Kazakh. And the uh, Uzbek. I already consider those things. So maybe we could get Uzbek. And then who Kazan and Uzbek also take over the same man territory. Nagoy, they might be good to have. I don't know if they're small enough to vassalize. Probably. But we can also just integrate them. Since we got that super awesome Costas Belly last time. And uh, let's let's split you in half. Take you down. And uh, we'll move in these guys over here. We're going to want to siege this up. Because I think we're going to take that place as Ukraine. And the next time when we go to war with uh, Poland. We can s release all of Ukraine's little parts. Breslau. Done. Okay, good. Uh, hopefully we can convert it even though it's not touching. Maybe we want to take these two provinces from the Ottomans. I don't know. And then sell it to Wallachia? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we should probably be sieging here. Uh, good. We won another battle. Let's let's have these 56,000 troops just siege it up there. And uh, how are we doing up here? Pretty good. Where's our general? Alright, Hughes. We're going to drop a siege back here. And uh, we are going to knock some heads in. We're going to select our big-ass army, our doom stack, and we're going to squishity-squish everything. Boom. Where's Norway's army? That's what I want to know, is where the hell Norway is in all this. I know, I, I saw their army. It was pretty big. It had like 20,000 at least. It's kind of pissing me off that they're not doing anything. Well, since these guys are just standing there, we might as well send them in. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right, you idiots. You decided to attack us. That's minus one river crossing. Now, and, you, and our general is pretty badass, so you're going to get raped. Alright, so they're probably going to run over to Finland, so... 
Let's take our big ass army, chase them down, and then we'll split this. This little, oh, I guess we need to stay there to help the siege because that stupid army took out almost all our guys. And oh, and did we finish them? Good for you guys. All right. No, oh, no, they're actually running still. Chase them down. Kill them all. Kill them all. Where are they going? Where are they going? That's ridiculous. They they could not run this far. Will you please explain to me where these idiots are going? Are they going to run all the way down into the Ottomans' territory? Because that will severely piss me off. Whatever. We're just going to go back to Stockholm, siege it up. We got some good siege on this guy, plus two. Yeah. We might as well. Do we have any hostile sieges going on? Oh, just some Ottoman shithead. It's okay. Let's find, um... Diplomats. Anyway, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's, uh... Poland is still under disputed secession. I really wish we got the same dynasty thing, because I would love to uh, just personal union them, but it looks like we're going to have to go to war with them and release Ukraine is the only way. Alright, let's start moving in here to Ottomans territory. Do we got a good leader over here? No. How many leaders do we have? Three? Let's get another one. Send him down there. And then we can send half these troops. Let's send them to go help. Just in case the Ottomans decide to come at us at one massive 100,000 stack. Which is possible. We can get these guys back on the boats, drop them back off over across the ocean. How about that? We have 41,000 men just milling about. We'll drop off half of them in Stockholm and have the other just go on a super massive hunt of anybody left alive that is not either one of our vassals, basically our enemies. Go die. Kill. 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 Kill it. Ugh. Oh. Alright, good, we've gotten that. Alright, now you guys are gonna die up here. Let's see if we can't just sneak around here and just squish you. Battle of Constantinople, good. Alright, how about you drop off a siege unit and move up there to take out that last, that other, the new unit there. Should do it. Good, we're fighting the last of the Swedish army, which is very sweet. Now, where the heck are the Ottomans? Because I have not seen an Ottoman. Oh, hello, Ottomans. I see you. You trying to fight me over there now? Where you see, you don't think I'm going to see you? Well, how about we talk about that? Because I have another hundred units that I can produce. Let's do that. Let's produce some more units, guys. How about, what? how long is it going to take over here compared to over there? 80 days, 70 days? Eh, I'll do, take, I'll take 80 days. 10 more days is not a big deal. And we'll produce a hundred new units. How about that? So let's produce 30, or wait, how, what's our ratio again? I forget. Let's produce 66 infantry units and then 30 of, 33 of, uh, cavalry and, um, the other one. So we'll zoom out just a little bit so it's a little easier to see these things. Oh yeah, and Russia's provinces are nice and big so it's easy, easy peasy to do. Thank you, Russia. You're so easy to click all your little provinces, because they're big provinces, not little. It's 52, 52 done. 55. I'm going to go to 66, I believe, is what I said. I think that's going to be enough uh, in that area. You know, we don't want to get too crazy over here, because, of course, we will have to... Uh, get them all going, you know, we, we want to group them, we don't want them to get too far away from each other. That'll be good for that. Alright, so that's 72, so I went a little bit too crazy. So let's bring back the, the, the line of... Alright, 60, let's build two over here in, in Hungary, because I might as well build some. Alright, good. Now, then the rest will be built in Hungary. We're going to build 33 Latin Dragoons. So once we get up to, like, uh, whatever 60 plus 30 is, 90... Then we'll stop. I guess we're just going to build on top of each other here, so let's just do it randomly. And then we'll build some royal mortars, and that should make us just some excellent fighting forces over here. 
and we need to get to 120 if I did because I did my math incorrectly I did it a little haphazardly there we go that should be perfection so once all that army finishes we should be about force capped but you know what we have so much money we could probably do as much many as many forces as we wanted anyways let's get these uh, th 33,000 in there so we don't get confused with these being our new forces or something all right we got a revolt here that's fine we have plenty of units to deal with it we're actually gonna send these units who are you all right fine where's where you gonna military access I'm not gonna be a stickler not give you military access I guess you need it for something you better not be messing with me though we're gonna get some big army down there just to uh, just to help let's actually have these guys go over to this area because we we need more reinforcements there we need to finish sieging up this area too Ooh, hello I did see you we'll send in troops from here and here to help we should just wreck them, honestly, because the, first of all, they're lower tech than us. Yeah, they're only 26 military tech. We're about one ahead of them. And as well as we just kind of are better. Let's split this guy in half here. We're going to select the armies. Uh, merge them up. Split them in half. We're going to take this guy down here on Force March, and he's going to go down to the bottom here. Pretty sure that's where the enemies are. enemy uh, Ottomans are running. So we'll just chase them to the end of the earth or whatever. They, oh, they're actually going to run up there? Seriously? They better not run to freaking uh, Sweden. That's going to anger me deeply. If they run all the way up to Sweden. That's kind of stupid. How? Why would that? That doesn't even make sense that they would. That, that sort of like the Ottomans. Why would they retreat there? That just kind of grinds my gears. But whatever. I mean, I guess we got plenty of troops up here to deal with them if they do decide to run up here. All right. Let's take these 12,000. Force march them. Take them down. Take down this. 3,000 Swedish army. Let's force march you guys back over here and siege it up. You can actually stop siege force marching. We don't need that. Alright, 83 days. Alright. Let's uh, start collecting our units down here. Somewhere reasonable. Oh, wow. That was a lot at once. Probably should have waited just one more second. Wow, this is going to be so many units. It's insane. 83 days is not that long. Oh, we don't want to take these guys. Whatever troops get produced on this tile here are just going to reinforce our little uh, radio, radio, raiding army on the Chinese people. Do you want to be my vassal yet? Really? Really? It's too much to vassalize you? Alright, fine. I guess we'll just take some of your provinces. I can't believe it's too much to vassalize them. Come on. We have so much better, so much trade. Is there anybody we can sell you to? I don't want to release Russia. Russia doesn't even have any cores anymore. That's, where did, how did those Russian cores go away so quickly? That's very weird. Maybe, um, maybe Norway will want your provinces if I take some over here. Full, I can't believe we can't vassalize them. That's stupid. So we're going to take what we wanted, and 500 gold, and we get some inflation. Let's take some more provinces. What's the best war score province? Riga? Let's clear this offer. Then let's take it by war score here. Wow, we can't even take these three provinces? That's stupid. Well, we probably don't want Riga that bad. I mean, it's probably an important center of trade or whatever, but... There we go, that would work. Alright, how much over extension is that going to give me? 50... 28%? And who are we going to get pissed off? Uh, Ulm really pissed off. Sweden really, wow. These, this is pretty far-reaching consequences for this one decision. That's stupid. Why can't we vassalize you? And why can't we force you to change religion? That's just even stupider. How much overextension do we get for this? Jesus. That's so much. Whatever, I'm just going to ask for this stuff. Let's do it. 
We'll core. I don't even care if I have to core this crap. Alright, good. We got some aggressive expansion. Worrisome. Whatever. Um, let's core it. Admin power is nothing to me. And we can even, uh, we'll just set, set some armies just on those provinces to sit on them. And the rest of this army needs to go help us fight against these Ottomans. We're gonna go kill you, and we're gonna kill you, and we're gonna siege here, and we're gonna send these troops to here. Somehow these Swedish troops are still retreating randomly, that's stupid. Yet again, I think I've said that's stupid like a million times because it's just so stupid. We'll drop a siege here, send these 23,000 troops there. Let's grab these other, or the non-sieging troops. We're going to select this army and send them to go and destroy this army there. That should do it. <sighs> Alright, so what's our aggressive expansion look like on the map now? It's probably a lot now. There was none earlier. I checked before I started recording. Oh, yeah, the Ottomans are pissed. Alms always pissed. Mono de Janeiro is actually pretty pissed. Sweden? Who cares about Sweden? They're going to get real pissed once we take all their provinces. Wallachia has entered the core. Ooh, Wallachia. I'm so scared. I'm so scared about Wallachia. I can't even find you, Wallachia. I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, you're over here. Wallachia. Oh, no. How dare you? That's so scary. Invest in a bigger army. More base tax. Hell, yeah. All right. You got these troops over here. Let's send them down here. We'll take you. How about you? Go die. Kill these morons. Poor Ottomans. I really wish they didn't get dragged into the war, but I guess we're just going to have to hurt them to keep them away from us. Wow, that was fast. I forgot that they had a lower tech group. I was actually concerned there for a second that we were going to die. Poland has insulted us, okay? Poland broke their alliance with us. Ooh, scary. Mm, okay, looks like some troops for our, our Netherlands is going to fight the Ottomans there for us. Good, that means we don't have to do anything. Awesome, let's get these troops over there. No, no, no. You want to go here. Sorry. You want to go there, and then you want to go here. You don't want to walk through the, the Ottomans' lands. Uh, fine, I guess we'll lose 3k. That's fine, we have plenty of money. I can't believe we haven't sieged up more. Oh, well, we've sie sieged up a little bit more in Sweden, but not as much as I would have liked. Alright, let's try to grab this uh, this army over here. We need to get rid of that 11,000 man army. I know this is not 14 armies, so please, dear lord, show me those good armies. stupid that we can't select just the big army and tell them not to come. Let's force march them in there. We'll split these guys in half and force march them as well. I don't think we're going to make it, but that's okay. How much terrain is there? Just minus one. That's easy. We can deal. Why are we losing these fights? Did we lose that in uh, Sweden? Wow, we did lose that sweet fight in Sweden. Okay, I guess we just got to kill them. With more troops, that's fine, you morons, I hate you. Let me just grab these three new troops over here. Ooh, more infantry. We'll just keep sending down infantry. And we got a super stack here. We're just going to chase these idiots down. A revolt in Lincoln. Ugh, god, I gotta scroll down to find my hostile sieges. Lincoln. Oh, oh, no, you're not doing this to me, really? Uh, all right, let's hire some mercenaries up there because I'm too lazy to freaking send an army. One, two, three, four, five, six, and how about a uh, some cavalry? One, two. That should be plenty to deal with these idiots. You can convert provinces. Yay! More provinces converting. Yay! Oh, there's a Swedish army there. We should take them out with these troops once they finish their sieges, which are taking like eternity. I don't know. I don't know why. Can we can we push the button here? Let's assault them. See what happens. They got a break and they got three breaks in their wall, so that should be pretty easy. All right, good. Shouldn't be surprised. Deal with them, whatever. And yay, we sieged. All right, let's let's go and take out these idiots there. 
Make another leader for them. Do we have too many leaders now? Yeah, we do. Uh, let's get kick one out. Uh, where are you? Yeah, we do not need you any longer. So you are going to get the boot, my friend. Do we finish these colonies finally? Yes. Okay, good. We can probably send all these troops home then. <laughs> Don't need to be standing up here. How about you go down there and help us out over here with these colonies? Yes, that would be much appreciated. And all the hostile sieges are completely not taken care of. We got... Why do we have this random trebizode? I think we got... Oh, Russia must have had this. And then Lincoln. Uh, no, sir. You do not want to go that way. You want to go there and then there. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, move these guys there. Yay, some cavalry. That'll help out. Alright, that's plenty of troops. Let's go kill them. The Thonian Order wants to fight again. No, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, apparently we can do another thing here. Uh, we're still two years ahead of time, so I'm just going to let that tick by. No reason to rush. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff we're going to be coring apparently now, especially with the Thonian Order. God, that's pissing me off. Maybe we've weakened them now that some good rebels will take over or something. I don't know. Let's send these guys over here. Merge these guys up. Take out this army. Yeah, we need to take out those guys there, and then we should be good. I mean, I mean, I don't see what else matters, really, except for this big army. Are they going to come across, seriously? Yay! I love you guys. You're so nice to come across like that and just kill yourself for me, basically. All right, we're going to force march to here, and we're going to do this. And now we got 10,000 stacks, right? All right, let's send them down here. There should be plenty of men to just, you know, defend to defend the little sieges in the middle here. And they're still going to try to come over here? Seriously? How about you not go that way? Yeah, how about you guys not go this way? Could you please pick a more productive route? How about we send 33,000 more troops over here, and then 33 of you go over this way, in here. That might be a little bit better and safer, huh? Don't you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. Down to here. Do we finish all of the hungry units? Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were fighting over here. I wish you had invited me. So I could kill you. Siege of Nark is over. Yay! Send you guys over there to help. Uh, actually, we need to siege the island, don't we? Yeah, let's siege that island. We need to somehow get to Gotland. I don't know if it actually matters, because depending on what we actually want to take from Sweden. Sweden. So they do not want to give us these provinces here. They really don't want to give us those, but that's okay. We will take them anyways. Let's see, can we... Uh, Sweden, you want to give me these... One, two, three. No, that's too much war score. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, all right, revoke cores on everybody though. That's good. That's a good thing. We'll leave that there. Do we? Do we lose our? No, our super cool guy. Oh well. Let's see. Is there anybody who's any good up here? No. Crap. Well, we need the three plus three. So let's get the tariff guy. We'll wait till we get a good statesman. I don't think we even have a statesman at all. Yeah, we have zero statesmen. So we'll wait till we get one. But we don't really need him right now because we're not actually annexing it or anything. Alright. This war is going pretty well. Got another native uprising. That's okay. Let's recall our guy here and we'll send him to the new guy. To this location. How's our cores going over here? Are they, uh, are they like anytime soon? No. My god, uh, that's going to be 65. That's almost 7 years from now. Man, we're going to have to fight the Thonian Order again. Now, do they have anything talking about base tax here anymore? That's right, they don't. Uh, let's get some admin power, because we have 100 prestige right now. I don't see why we need any more prestige. Are the Ottomans our rival? No, we have a free rival, so we'll probably set it as Ottomans, just so that we can take more provinces more cheaply from them. Let's send this armies actually here. Why don't we just do this? Um, we'll split half of you, and then you guys can go help. 
And bye bye. Thank you for the war score. We're going to continue and squish your other guy over here. And thank you also for your kind of donation of war score. And we'll just send you guys back there and you can help the sieging. We're at 91% on that one province. I can't believe it hasn't flipped yet. That's insane. Uh, Alright, let's send you guys down there. We got some troops here. Let's force march this guy onto this guy here. Ooh, we'll just chase them. How about that? Where are they going? They're probably going to go down to here somewhere. Where's that revolt? I wish I could... It's a Trusk. Oh god, of course we don't have anybody over here, but it's fine. We can just send these guys to do, do the loop around and take them out. Send another nine month. Awesome. Still got some units over. How do we send these units there to reinforce them? Oh, poor Kazaa. You guys are getting kind of raped, aren't you? Sorry. Did not see you. That's okay. Oh, can we actually piece out the Terminids individually? Oh, sweet, we can. Return these things to Kazaa. Sweet, that actually works out, that thing that we were working worried about earlier. Awesome, 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 awesome. awesome. So let's, uh, let's take this army here. We're going to just force march, super crush them all. Hello. You can never have too much manpower, that is definitely true. Uh, La Plata. Alright, we'll go take out those idiots as well. So it looks like we need to take, uh, how many troops was it? 3,000? Let's split this guy in half and send 6,000 down there. And then you can come back to, like, right there or something. We'll, we'll send the next colonist that finishes there. We lost our military advisor. That's fine. We'll get our discipline guy. How about that? Oh, we need to check the papacy. I have not done that. Oh, thank God. We checked because Austria is just about to steal one from us. Even though we're about to integrate Austria. I don't know why they did that. Did we start the integration of Austria? I forget. No, oops, we need to do that. Uh, Austria, I hope you don't get too pissed at us. No, we need to integrate them as soon as we finish this war. So good, don't start any more wars. <laughs> that would be a good idea. We won a battle, yay! Okay, good, we won those battles. Now let's go occupy them. Occupado. We've got some revolts here. A revolt? Seriously? We just had a massive army there, and you think that it's a good idea to revolt? Well, why don't I teach you why it's not a good idea to revolt? Oh, are you serious? They didn't run this way? That sucks. Miley Cyprus. Ha 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 ha. Alright, well, that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me send some troops over to the next side of the border, and, uh... Yeah, that's going to be... that. we did pretty good, I think, for, you know... That's actually... yeah, we're almost done with Sweden. Uh, which is good, because we're kind of... it's kind of getting tough to handle all these, uh... random... war... all this... these... Ra this, so, so many fronts on this war, guys. It's hard to handle. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, you guys are the best. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Spray and pray out.